So American Horror Story Cult is actually starting to get really good, if you ask me. But this last episode, which was episode 4 called 11-9, was probably the best episode in not only this particular season, but one of the best episodes in the entire series thus far. And let me preface this by saying the best part about this is normally when you have American Horror Story kind of delving into backlog episodes or flashback type of content, you have it kind of playing a backdrop to the overarching story that's playing out throughout the main series. But because Cult deals almost primarily with non-supernatural, non-overly pressing subject matter, I feel like they decided to take an entire episode on the flashback con side. And Forgive me if I'm wrong here. I might be completely wrong. I haven't been completely caught up with the entire series thus far, but honestly, that was something that felt like a huge breath of fresh air from everything that I'm actually familiar with when it comes to this particular series, and I really hope that they continue it down the line. Because one of the things that this episode really did is really kind of help shore up the fact of everything that's crazy that's been going on without the w throughout the last three episodes and help us have something more of a footing to stand on when we look at why stupid characters are doing this, that, or the other. Of course, the last three episodes have been overly, overly funny, but at the same time, they've left me, at least, and I'm sure a lot of you listening, scratching your head about what exactly is going on. Why haven't they fired Winter yet? What is Evan Peters' character... Kai doing at this point? How is he actually running this cult of clowns or is he really running this cult of clowns? Are the cult of clowns are actually real considering the fact that we have Ali's character kind of hallucinating them at some point and then we don't necessarily know if Oz is actually seeing them or basically dreaming. They've been kind of teasing that over the last couple episodes but this episode really kind of gave us something to stand on. At least some kind of an arrow pointing to not only where this show is going over the course of this season, but exactly how we're going to get there. What I'm really talking about here is when Kai's character is talking to Beverly, he was talking about how one woman's fear, this is something I really latched onto, he's talking about one woman's fear connecting and kind of spreading like, not like a virus, but kind of like a disease or something throughout the entire world. And I think that's why he has, almost since the very first episode, been really focused on Ali's type of personality. Now, we're not necessarily sure how Kai's character might be, I guess, connected with Ali's therapist, but given the fact that we saw Ali's therapist treating the woman who was afraid of coffins and being buried alive in the last episode get buried alive in the last episode, or at least thrown into a coffin, we do know that there has to be at least some kind of connection there when you put Kai as the leader of this death cult of clowns along with everything that we saw in the last episode. So honestly, I don't necessarily know how this adds up yet. Of course, we're not very far into the season right now. We're going to have to give us a couple more episodes, but honestly, I really liked it. So just kind of a general update on what's going on with this particular show and how this episode really kind of gave us a perspective on everything that's going on. It was basically told in two separate parts, one with Kai and one with Winter. So we begin with Kai going and kind of showing a relationship or kind of gaining a relationship with the new neighbors and how he actually ended up being befriending both of those people and also recruiting Beverly as well as in the same time we actually get to see Ivy create a relationship with Winter. Strangely enough and almost interestingly enough from what we've seen and how I have and I'm sure a lot of you have seen it in my comment section below have been saying like oh my god why haven't they fired Winter yet? How, why haven't they fired Winter yet? Considering what we saw from this particular episode I think we have our answer. Ivy and Winter actually kidnap the man who has been running or at least is an employee of the grocery mart where Ali went to the very first episode and saw him after Trump had been elected with his arm cut off, we got to see exactly how that actually ended up occurring with Ivy and Winter kidnapping him after he sexually assaults Ivy at a protest right before the election and then see Kai 
rescue him by having him cut off his arm and getting a chance to vote for Trump. Now, I thought that was a little bit crazy, but obviously this is American Horror Story. This is a little bit of a crazy show. Honestly, I think everything about this particular season, and not only this particular season, but this particular episode just worked gangbusters for me. Honestly, I'm super happy with what I've seen, and I can't wait to see how they're pivoting this show going forward. Obviously, if you're going to ask me, I really think that Kai is pivoting the fear that Ali has about clowns and the perception of, I guess, I don't necessarily know all of her ailments, but he's really kind of pivoting that role in order to actually create some kind of fear that's going to lead him into further office. And one of the things I really hope, considering the fact that at least sometimes American Horror Story has the I guess intention of ending with happy endings. I really hope they don't necessarily end with happy endings. As much as I, and I guess my real world view, don't necessarily agree with Kai's character or some of his, I guess, ideas about life and how politics should be run in general, I do think that he is the strongest character of this particular season. I've said it before, I feel like Evan Peters is one of the best people in American Horror Story and the series wouldn't be the same without him. Of course, we've seen other actors come in and be totally a part of this series and then just not necessarily come back or not necessarily be as prominent as Evan Peters or Sarah Paulson. So I'm really glad that those two people are actually in the seasons. Uh, honestly, we actually also got Emma Roberts come back for this season, but considering the fact that she was also killed in this particular episode, I'm not necessarily sure whether we're going to be seeing her again. I guess she could potentially come back, but I'm not necessarily hoping for it or anything else like that. I feel like whatever whatever kind of character she was trying to promote was definitely played off and we got to see everything that we're going to see from that. But anyway, guys, I want to hear everyone's thoughts and opinions about 11-9 and whether you thought this episode was one of the better better of the seasons. Obviously, it wasn't necessarily one of the funniest of the seasons. More thought-provoking, more story-building, and trying to point us in the right direction, which I think after three episodes of what we've gotten thus far, this is exactly what we've needed. But anyway, guys, I want everyone to share their thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell over by the subscriber button. That's going to notify you every single time I upload. But with that being said, guys, I hope everyone has a good day. It's been real.